Welcome back to Crypto Zero. I am George. We're all George. So what happened with Bitcoin today? Why did Bitcoin dip suddenly to 64,300 right now? This morning was hovering around 665. Of course, we had some news about rate cuts or possible rate cuts this morning. But what happened? Well, a couple of things. Okay, so first of all, we did have Powell, you know, do a press conference and basically talk about how, yeah, no rate cut this time, but really, really possible in September. Basically, it's baked in. It's almost like 100% that there will be a rate cut in September. And of course, this morning I talked about how Bank of Japan had to do so because of their debasing of their currency and Bank of England. Tomorrow, we'll make a decision and ECB has already done so. I mean, bottom line is it's 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 kind of a mess all over the place, okay? Uh, countries around the world are looking to cut rates simply because economies around the world are sucking, okay? And uh, they need to bring liquidity back, get people to start spending, try to make numbers look better, right? Uh, but overall, supposedly inflation numbers are coming down and they're lower. Uh, so basically, Paul says, yeah. Uh, you know, if things continue the way they are, well, then a rate cut is going to come in September, right? And he also said that there was a real discussion about whether or not they should have cut this meeting. There was a real discussion, but it didn't happen as expected, right? Uh, I will say this. The last few times, if you guys remember, when we had FOMC meetings, for whatever reason, Bitcoin tanked and dipped it dumped um the last few has always been like this right so this in itself is a reason why and i kind of said this a couple days ago where i anticipated that yeah usually after fomc meeting you have a dip right and it carries into friday so tomorrow seeing how it's thursday we may get a continuation of this maybe not too much or maybe we just kind of stall out but the last few fomc meetings have been like this where uh, Powell basis had no rate cut and the market just kind of goes down and then, you know, over the weekend we start recovering back up again. So that could be the case this time around. However, that's not the only thing. OK, today we also had some tensions in the Middle East come up. And again, whatever involves Middle East, it's uh, it's it's tricky, right? Tricky because we have countries that's been at war for decades centuries i don't even know so today supposedly the iranian leadership says they're going to retaliate against israel so obviously this conflict has been ongoing for a long 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 time but recently it's been escalating and this came out and you know bitcoin also dipped right i don't know maybe the middle east does hold a large amount of bitcoin it makes sense because iran has all these sanctions placed against it, and maybe they've been loading up on Bitcoin uh, over the last few years, and now they're selling it off to pay for uh, pay for war. I don't know. Kind of makes sense if you think about it, right? But whenever we hear about tension in the Middle East, we tend to see Bitcoin struggle a little bit. So maybe that does have something to do with it. But nevertheless, I think it's these, these two things. You have some tension in the Middle East, and of course, the FOMC meeting with Powell is always a thing, right? But you know what? Better days are coming. That's what I always say. Better days are coming. You just have to have a little patience. Okay, remember that bill that Senator Loomis introduced at a Bitcoin conference to establish a strategic Bitcoin reserve, purchasing up to 5% of all Bitcoin in circulation? Yeah, that is being introduced, right? And that's the thing, if that actually becomes law, uh, this will spur massive buying from all countries because then basically there's a war to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible. That's that's what this means, right? So if this gets introduced, this would be absolutely amazing. Purchasing up to 5% of reserves, 5% um, of Bitcoin, and then also holding it for 20 years, do you know how high Bitcoin will be in 20 years? I don't I don't even know. I have no idea, right? So better days are definitely coming. 
you know, after a new administration, not saying that it's going to be Trump, but whatever new administration that comes in could be definitely very pro crypto, which is a big change because over the last however many administrations, pretty much crypto has been, you know, redheaded stepchild or seen as a criminal network. But that doesn't seem to be the case going forward. So that will definitely change big things. And speaking of Trump, Trump is launching Bitcoin shoes. Uh, he's fully aware that there are a lot of rich Bitcoin donors out there. So he he had NFT collections before. Now he is launching Bitcoin shoes, obviously AI generated. But what's not AI generated is he raised $21 million at the Bitcoin conference, selling private seats to a dinner at 800000 each. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. I don't think that twenty-one million was was accidental, though. That's definitely on purpose, right? Uh, so, besides, you know, Trump and a new administration, a new bill, we know that there are still a lot of institutions that are buying, right? So today, ETS, BlackRock, we don't have numbers, but good thing is, Grayscale seems to have sold none today. Today's the last day of the month. We're starting August tomorrow. Right, we'll get the official numbers, but so far this month hasn't been bad. There's been more inflows and outflows, and BlackRock continues to buy and buy and buy. BlackRock themselves are buying, institutions are buying, right? And even Ethereum, Ethereum is starting to turn green. Ethereum ETF last yesterday had a positive inflow. Today we had another outflow, but again, it comes down to BlackRock. Did they have a massive buy today? Quite possibly, right? So again, things are going to turn around. I know it sucks. I, I know it sucks. I hate to see my portfolio. I hate to see Bitcoin come down too, right? But we're not at levels we haven't seen before. Just earlier this month, we fell down to 53,000. So obviously, we're still way above that. But it does suck to see Bitcoin come down. And I realize that. But ultimately, just remember this, guys. Okay, with everything that's going on, I've said this before, I'll say it again, with all the FUD, and with all the volatility and everything that's going on, right? Ultimately, Bitcoin is moving according to plan. Okay, we are in the next bull run. We just haven't started a parabolic phase yet. But you could see we're right about to. Every single halving cycle, we usually have to wait about, five to six months before we see a real movement and we're getting closer and closer to that right around the september time frame and that just happens to be when the first rate cut will happen right but if you look at all the previous cycles this is where we are we're about to get into the parabolic phase you just have to be careful well I'm patient and careful, right? And it just so happens every time Bitcoin starts going up is when gold tops out. Every single time. Just look at it, right? Is that a coincidence? No, because people are selling off gold to buy Bitcoin, right? And ultimately, again, another, another zoomed out chart is showing that Bitcoin is again doing exactly the same thing as it has been doing in pre previous cycles. We are moving according to plan, so definitely not time to be panicking and do not fall for the FUD. It's really that simple, okay? So even though we dipped down today because of Middle East and because of PAL, right, there are still so many good things to look forward to, and nothing will stop Bitcoin. That is all. It's a short video, guys, a short video. All right, smash the like, subscribe to the channel. I will be going home tomorrow, so I'll be streaming tomorrow night, not in the morning, but I'll get in my usual routine because I know a lot of you guys love that, but just want to give you guys a quick update. Stay strong, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye.